It is such a great thing to do. Well, we talk about the holiday season. It's definitely feeling, feeling like, like the holiday season. Carson sure. Meredith joining us now. Yeah, Carson, it's uh, quite cold out there this morning. Yeah, just a little bit on the chilly side. No, it's definitely the coldest air of the year so far. No doubt about that. There's that live view of the Way 31 Skycam Network. Temperatures for the most part are in the upper 20s. It's 27 in Huntsville, 27 in Decatur. Just a little bit warmer in some spots. It's 30 out in the Shoals and 31 right now in Lake Gunnersville. Definitely much, much colder right now compared to this time yesterday morning. Many of us ranging 20 to 25 degrees colder compared to Monday morning and the reason why even though that cold front had moved through by this point yesterday morning the colder air behind it had not quite made its way into North Alabama bottom line just bundle up as you head out the door the good news is though lots and lots of sunshine once again we won't have much of a wind chill today unlike yesterday but look at those high temperatures still only in the lower 50s this afternoon and as we go through this evening we'll see clear skies continuing when we'll drop into the mid 40s by six o'clock tonight no issues on the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. You'll notice on future radar with those temperatures too. Not even really going to see much in the way of clouds today. Might be one of those crystal clear blue sky kind of days. When you wake up on Wednesday morning, not quite as cold as what we're seeing right now, but still chilly. Many of us right around freezing in the low to mid 30s when you wake up on Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine once again tomorrow. Those highs will actually be warmer for your Wednesday. Upper 50, some of you, especially in west of I-65, might get close to 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon with maybe a few of those more thin, wispy clouds throughout your Wednesday. Any travel plans you have today and tomorrow, no problems. Now for Thanksgiving, I think you'll still be just fine, but you'll have rain to contend with, especially for the second half of the holiday on Thursday. One thing that is different with our forecast today compared to yesterday is data sources are suggesting a faster arrival of that rain on Thursday. Look at the time here on Future Radar. This is 1230 Thursday, and we've already got showers moving into the shoals. Just keep that in mind. If you have any lunch plans on Thursday in Northwest Alabama, that rain becomes more widespread as the evening wears on. Looks like everybody is going to be seeing rain around dinner time on Thanksgiving night. But the good news is this is a quick moving front. It's not going to rain all weekend. In fact, I think by the time we get to midnight on Thursday, we're pretty much done with the rain just in time for those early bird shoppers on Black Friday. Not going to see much rain with this particular system, maybe a tenth to quarter of inch of rain at most. No thunderstorms, just plain rain. But obviously, if you have any outdoor Thanksgiving plans, maybe a family football game in the backyard, you might want to play that game earlier in the day as opposed to later in the afternoon. Otherwise, seven day forecast pretty much what it should be this time of year. Actually, unusually quiet. Lots of sunshine today. Temperatures in the low 50s back to near 60 tomorrow. Rainy for Thanksgiving, unfortunately, but the rest of your holiday weekend looks just fine. A little bit cool on Friday, but eventually we're back into the mid 50s by Saturday and Sunday. Bottom line, guys, you're traveling the next couple of days. No problems, but you might need that umbrella for the holiday itself on Thursday. All right, thank you so much.